Last week I was in the windy city of Chicago and it actually was a blustery windy day for a couple of the days although I didn't have to go outside and I was pretty glad about that but when I came back it put me in the mood for doing a quilt block that kind of represented what you might do with wind and there are several quilt blocks called windmill this happens to be one and it's got the little pinwheel in the center and then it's got some uh, other little patches around the outside. So today I'm going to demonstrate how to put the, this windmill quilt block together. Hi, this is Penny Hallgren from quiltblocklibrary.com and quiltblocklibrary.tv. Thanks for joining me and I'm ready to get started so let's go to the sewing machine. This block has a lot of half square triangles to sew together and if I were making more than one block I would figure out some kind of speed piecing method for half square triangles. But for just one, I'm just going to start by putting these right sides together and stitching across so that they create little squares. Now that these little pinwheel squares are sewn together, I'm going to put these right sides together and sew these two patches. Now I'm going to finish this center pinwheel by simply putting, folding these two together and stitching across the center. Now I'm going to start working on these little outside units and so the first thing I'm going to do on each one of these is take one triangle, fold it right sides together with a square and then stitch along the side. Now that these are sewn, I can take this other triangle and add it. Now we have these little units on the outside that look like triangles. They're all sewn together and our center pinwheel square is sewn together. So I'm going to add these triangles to the outside just like we're sewing a square and square quilt block. So just one side at a time, we'll just match it up. The seam to match here is where these two meet and meet, match it up with that center seam. Now that this side is sewn on, I'll go ahead and sew this little triangle piece on. And then once those two are sewn on, I'll just add the other sides and then the block will be finished. This windmill block is all done and ready for a quilt. This was pretty easy to sew together. It's got that very fun pinwheel in the center with half square triangles and then you can sew the rest of it together just like you're sewing a square in a square. Thanks for joining me. This is Penny Hallgren from quiltblocklibrary.com and quiltblocklibrary.tv signing off. Oh, and we have the bird in the background. Anyway, if you're not already at quiltblocklibrary.com, head on over and get your free download of the windmill pattern. Thanks again. Peaceful piecing.